Hi everybody and welcome back to Stamp Away Saturday. I'm sorry it's been gone for a little bit but it's back and we still have a stack like this of stamps to give away. So um, this week we are going to do the drawing for this stamp set here. Um, this video was posted on 825 and so we will be doing that one and at the end of this video watch all the way through to find out how you can um, be in the run to be able to have this set which is the beautiful butterflies this was a gift from Trudy and so that we could add to our um, how many of these we're going to be able to give away and um, I chose not to give away the rain one this week because I think some of you have just seen enough of that so um, we're gonna go with the butterflies here in California we're starting to see the monarchs and or I've started to see a few we don't see that many in the desert but when I used to live um, in uh, closer to the coast we would see monarchs and one of the ways you saw them was unfortunately in the grill of the front of your car when you got home but um, you know flying across the freeway there would be monarch butterflies so I thought that would be a great way to um, you know because it's September and the monarch butterflies are out there so these are coloring stamps and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you my little tip using this week's stamp set then at the end we will do that and talk about how you can enter for this one so um, so there is the one we're giving away here is my stamp set because I was lucky enough to find um, all the stamp sets and then that's what started this is I went back and purchased all the rest that were there at the Dollar Tree and um, so yeah then Stamp Away Saturday was born. So what I thought I'd show you is just a way to use up some of the things that you have possibly around your desk and um, just a way to be able to, uh, you know, decorate them up, make them um, a little more fun. So what I have is I have this little green tag. I have some pieces of a calendar. I have some Project Life cards. I have a yellow tag and I have these little dots. So um, as you can see, this particular stamp set has several things going on. We've got flowers, we've got butterflies. Down here we have some words, live, laugh, love, beautiful, and dream. We have some butterflies and we have some flowers and a leaf. So um, yeah, so let's get right into this. I'm gonna use black ink this time. Um, I really have been having fun using some of the colored inks this week on the things that I've been making. Um, but let's go ahead and, you know, it's like you have, if you have your stamp set out, you have uh, maybe a, f I, I like to have a few blocks um, so that I can play with them. So this is the one, this one is a little over four by almost three. So it's almost three by four. So it is going to fit um, these, this, these, these stamps on it perfectly. So there, um, and remember I did do a video on other alternatives if you don't have a stamp block that's big enough. I have some of those acrylic picture frames, which I've been seeing at the stores again um, at, that I use. So now I need, I need an under paper. I need an under paper. So there's my under paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink this up. And, um, I will use this corner of my ink pad to make sure that this stamp has ink all the way across because I know I get really good ink in this corner. 
for some reason, I get really good ink in this corner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to my thing here. Now, I'm not sure if that's the best idea. I'll go across it one more. Let's move those out of the way. Welcome to the messy desk. Even when it's clean, it's messy. <laughs> Uh, okay, press it on it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to my craft room, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I start a video. There we go. So, um... We missed some places. I just heard something fall. I hope it didn't fall on the dog. He's in the hallway. I've been moving some stuff around the craft room and there's barely enough room for him to lay down in the craft room. So you might not get to hear him snoring today. <laughs> Cause I think he decided to hang out in the hallway. Okay, so um, since we had a little bit of that not coming all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of papers under the under the under paper to give us a little bit of cushion and you know in a rubber stamp okay so these are what like acrylic stamps um, in a rubber stamp that you'll um, notice if you look at a rubber stamp let's see if I can find one So here's one of the new ones I got at Goodwill. But on a rubber stamp, it actually has a cushion of spongy rubber, spongy stuff between the rubber and the wood. And that helps you to get the, the full impression. Well, that's the one thing that they don't have on these acrylic stamps is that spongy, spongy area. So you want to make your own by possibly by adding a cushion underneath your, um, what you're stamping. Let's go. Okay, so now another thing um, is that I really like about acrylic stamps is that you can see through them. Okay, so we can see through it. So we can decide that we want a certain area of this stamp to show up on this little tag. And then of course we're going to also be able to stamp the background. Okay. So there is an adorable little tag um, using that technique. Now, of course, you don't want to stamp over your string, so go ahead and cut your string off. We'll do it again. Okay, so being able to choose the area that you want to stamp, again, is one of the awesome characteristics of this stamp set. Now I'm getting ready to make a sunflower um, book so I want these to show up in part of the butterfly in this one. Okay, so there we have an adorable little tag. Isn't that cute? Aren't the, I think those are just so much fun. Um, now, I have these pieces. These are scratch pieces of um, after the year was over. We had a few of our family calendars left. And I thought it would be fun to just stamp on these calendar pages. And I would have them to use in collage, um, collage stuff. Collage stuff. I'd have them for collage stuff. Okay. So 
there you go. And then we have, I over here I've started keeping um, Project Life cards. So um, Project Life cards are like just a little, they're basically three by four is what their size is. So this stamp is just a little bit under that. And this paper, this one I have is graph on one side, graph on the other, but I thought I would go ahead and again, I'm making that sunflower book. And so this will give me possibly <laughs> a card that I can just, a uh, journaling card. Okay. And you will see Project Life cards um, in my crafting because I have hundreds of them. And also because I've decided I want to start doing Project Life again. So here we go. And then you can take your little pen. And if, you, if it's missed some places, you can just come in and fix them or add your own striping and stuff um, you could come in with you know with a brad or something uh, and put something in the centers um, all kinds of fun things you could do if you have a area that is it has a lot of stuff this is where I could put my put some words so um, I can use the words from here but to make it faster I'm just gonna come to this small talk and find a word find a word wow it's easier said than done huh how about sentimental why not okay we can just pop it in there. You could go ahead and put it, um, back it with something and pop it in there. But then we can, so we can, uh, we can do the pro, well, that was a Project Life card too. Um, so we can put it on the Project Life card. You can do it obviously like on index card or, you know, we, I have scratch paper over here. So you could put it on scratch paper and then it could actually be, um, something that, they could, um, well, this one is in the right, okay, let's go ahead and we'll just wipe this off. I mostly use black ink for these anyway, so I'm just gonna, I have baby wipes with no alcohol in them. They're alcohol free, is what I'm using today. in there grab this one because one is portrait and one is landscape so I think I want a port portrait one here and I got some of the ink on it that's okay okay so again we're gonna ink this up and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to use my corner for the whole thing just because I know that I can get in and get all the spots using that corner. Turn it. That's just my preference. And I'm pressing in the center because on these larger stamps, that's the place that seems to have <laughs> the trouble. So there is our image. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And you could do a series like um, of these cards and give them to somebody that likes to color. That might be kind of fun. I'm punching a hole in this one. And I'm 
going to turn it into a little tag pack, tag flip. I'm just using a safety pin because I'm out of bold pens. I think I'm going to order them finally today. You know what? I have this little bird ticket from a while back. It's sitting here on my desk. So I'm going to cut this up here because I might be able to use these strings for something else. Um, but that might be kind of fun in here too. And oh, let's make sure that we have them in the right direction. And add a little pink. Okay, so we have the bird, the green tag, the yellow tag, and And if you have the shrinky dink charm that we made from this, you can hang that from the bottom of your safety pin. But there you have a little tag flip and you can set this like inside of a pocket. I don't want to get any ink. So put it inside of a pocket. With it kind of up like this more like that and I think that will be really fun you can also add some fiber or something through the hole up here and it won't um, interfere with your or even in the back it would have to be actually it would be in the front and I don't think I want it in the front so anyway that is our stamping tip and fun for the day. Look here, this is the charm I made just with a button and some little pearls for my, my project and giveaway book. So there you go. Stamping on things that are hanging around your desk and um, turning them into possibly usable embellishment uh, pieces. So and that can be for any of your um, your crafting, your paper crafting, and you can make tags out of these. Um, if you had a really small bag, you could decorate the front of it. So, yeah. So come back next week, and I'll show you a really fun way to use this and make a small bag, which I'm gonna write that down. Small bag. Next, stamp away Saturday. That's my note. <laughs> if I don't write it, it doesn't, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> if it's not written down, there's not a report. It didn't happen. Remember, if you see something, tell your, uh, make a report. Because if, if there's not a report, it didn't happen. If your mailbox gets stolen or broken into, make a report. You know. <laughs> sound, sound like that's a little personal? <laughs> yeah, when you're at first the only person that made a report and there were 16 mailboxes broken into, yeah. Please, make a report. Okay, so this is, this was, I think this was kind of fun. We have these little guys that we made today. So let's put these things away and we can go ahead and get to the part you've all been waiting for. So if you watched last, the last video and you commented and answered the question, then your name should be on this paper. The what what happens is, I um, I read them all as they come through. So I read all your comments as you you know as as I get them, 
And then when it's time for me to make this video, I go back through and I check off that I've read it. So I, um, yeah, so I check off that I read it. So here's our list. We have 27 people responded and, um, and wanted to be in the drawing. We had some people that, that didn't want to be in the drawing and that's okay. And thank you for letting me know. Um, so let's go ahead and we are drawing for this stamp set. Okay. So it, it, that's the fun one with the guy that looks like the moon has arms and, and there's some little houses and there's this like countryside with another house and thinking of you with love. Have a great day. Best wishes. And then all of these little stamps and several people said they would use them on their planner or just to, to make little notes to put in people's lunches, lunch boxes. It was, it was really fun. So, so here we go and good luck. Do you feel lucky? Is your name on here? Are you going to be on next week's? Okay, so here we go. Stamp away Saturday <laughs> from last month, almost a whole month ago. And it goes to number 16. Number 16, Jana Williams. Yay, Jana! Congratulations! If I have the pen, I would circle your name. Yay, Jana. And then we put her name on here so I know which one she gets. It's all a process, otherwise... Okay, um, so all of these, if you've won and you have sent me your address through Etsy, at Dear Julie Julie on Etsy, um, I, and Jana, I have yours, I have your address, um, I am sending them out this week. We will be all caught up this week. So that is for Jana. And so for this week's stamp set, um, you know, do you see butterflies around your home? And tell me about the type of butterflies that you see. Um, here I see the yellow, um, what do they call them? Tiger lily or something like that. The yellow, they have like a really long down here at the bottom of their here down here they have a really long thing I, I can't remember what a swallowtail swallowtail they are yellow swallowtails occasionally I'll see a monarch butterfly here in the desert um, we get a lot of moths we get that hummingbird moth thing and it's really interesting got, got the the way the wings going really fast like a hummingbird and when it goes up into a feather you can literally see its um, its nose or its tongue or whatever go into the you know the the birds here and it goes Shh. so look it up Google hummingbird moth they're really a trip we we have them and they seem to like lavender colored flowers um, yeah so I want to know what type of butterflies you have um, where you live and um, and of course, what is your favorite stamp? I love these little butterflies in this set. I love the live, laugh, and love. Um, and and that I love how much is going on in this stamp that we were able to get sunflowers out of it and the butterfly. And um, I just see this to be a very versatile stamp set. So find something to celebrate every day. Congratulations, Jana. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah. Thank you, Trudy. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.